It's time for a VPN tier list. What is the best VPN? Are you safe and secure on the internet? I will tell you right now. Probably not. You're, you're definitely compromised from a privacy and security standpoint because you actually think a VPN gives you privacy and security. That's cute. Having said that, what is an actual VPN good for? Let's first tackle that. I know, just pulled the one over on you. Uh, first off, if you're looking for a privacy or encryption connection on the go, let's say you're in a coffee shop, a hotel, it's actually a pretty good thing to establish a VPN and then do your traffic. But where, what are you doing with that? Like what exactly is happening there? It's encrypt, doing an encrypted tunnel to your VPN provider and then out. And that encrypted tunnel is really what gives you that privacy and security from local attackers where you're at, coffee shop, hotel, not other attackers on the internet, such as big government entities. VPN ain't going to do squat for them. So what's the best way to do it? Well, OpenVPN or WireGuard, just set up the server in your house. Don't even have to worry about it. It's, it's all good. These two will take care of you and give you that local to your internet at home and use it to get out. So it's great for that secure connection on the go. Same goes for like a business. A lot of times that's what we do. So if someone is in a business that I'm managing, they'll go over and establish a VPN if they're in a hotel or wherever. And that's how they would secure that connection from local attack. Now, privacy and security. Other than that, I don't trust anybody for that aspect. And a lot of VPNs are sold that way. So if you're not buying it for privacy and security, what are you buying a VPN for? And that's simply torrenting, downloading piracy, and geo-unlocking. Let's say I want to watch something in the UK. Let's see what those Brits are up to in their Netflix. Hey, they got a good Netflix. I like to geo-unlock. So yes, I'll pop over there with a VPN and pay one of these big corporate VPN things to, to do that. And I'll do it pretty fast and I'll be able to watch just like I'm over there. Having said that, there is a massive corporate influence of big tech and uh, corporate VPNs, meaning one or two companies really own a lot of VPNs. I think between 10 companies, almost over 100 or so VPNs reside with just 10 companies. So you're thinking, well, why, why is that? There's certain companies that have government intelligence agents work for them or have ties to the government so they can spy on you. So yeah, you're giving up one local government to another government so they can look at your data. So that's the gist of it. So don't trust any VPN provider. Having said that, let's get into the meat and potatoes of which ones are just corporate garbage, which ones are like meh, and we're not even going to make a D tier because frankly... Yeah, I don't think it's really needed in this respect. Let's start with corporate garbage. We got ExpressVPN, CyberHost, Private Internet Access. All the same company, by the way. <laughs> and then we got another conglomerate after that. We got StrongVPN, IPVanish, and actually this company owns about seven other VPNs that I couldn't find the icons for because they're in other countries. So kind of interesting. So this is actually two companies so far. And then we got Nord. Uh, and Surfshark, that's another company. Actually, Atlas was part of this one too. So this right here is just three companies in corporate garbage. They might have some fast connections for some geo-unlocking or maybe doing some torrenting if you're, you want to do that, but will they sell you down the river to the government? Probably. <laughs> All right, going into the myths here. These are independent companies, but I wouldn't trust them and I probably wouldn't use them and Technically, the one times I have used these, been pretty low performers, lots of disconnects, and a slow connection. We got Tunnel Bear out of Canada, and then we also have Tour Guard out of the US of A. Yeah. <laughs> I would not trust either one of these, and also uh, these will are in the Five Eyes country. So if you aren't familiar with how a lot of surveillance, especially from a government level, works, all internet traffic is is basically looked at and 
all of it's filtered through like NSA and other government agencies. Johnny Harris did a great video kind of explaining how they capture all the data from the internet and able to comb through it for surveillance purposes. And it's really neat to kind of see how that works, but that's why you never should trust a VPN provider really in a major uh, like Five Eyes country, even a 14 Eyes country. I think they all have packs to basically share, share their data of their civilians with each other. So that just the unfortunate state of affairs we we live in in today's world now having said that as far as a, a vpn that does respect privacy i think molvad from sweden they have actually have really good laws and then proton vpn from switzerland both uh, that also has a really good privacy law oh i forgot norton uh, look at that well norton's in the corporate garbage too uh, and that's kind of like my state of VPN providers. Uh, I think people buy VPNs for the wrong reason. You don't really need to have or pay a monthly fee for a VPN, especially for privacy security, as there's many other layers and things that you fail at. The biggest one, if you're a privacy or security nut job out there, is your cell phone. Your cell phone is so easily compromised. So much spying goes on there. Most of it doesn't happen on your computer. These days, the cell phone's where you get compromised the most. But if you do want some kind of level of a VPN or you want to, you know, pop out somewhere else on the Internet, these are kind of my recommendations from a VPN tier list. There's not much here. I don't have any affiliate links. Molved, I don't think, even runs an affiliate program. I think Proton has somewhat of an affiliate program, but I have had affiliate sales with other uh, things in the corporate garbage tier. And... Just as a personal note, just because you might be like, I love one of these in this tier. I'm not saying you shouldn't pay for it. And I'm not saying you shouldn't use it, but you should just know what you're getting into. Also, when you're looking at a lot of the security and privacy YouTubers that are recommending something in this tier, you should probably know when you click on their link, they're getting paid about 30% rips. I know it because I am one of those YouTubers. I have done uh, affiliate sales with some of these VPNs in the past, and they can pay extremely, extremely well. So that's the truth on VPNs. Here's the tier list. Don't sue me, bro. I've already gotten some stuff from some of these big companies. I hate, uh, I try to keep this as general as possible just so you know what you're getting into, why it's such a big business, why there's so much money, and why the affiliate sales drive this whole bottom tier, why you see all these in your feed and why so many YouTubers shill them is because there's a lot of money to be had. I hate making this video and frankly, you might make a copy of this video because there's a good chance I'm going to get a takedown notice for it because you can't tell the truth on YouTube and get away with it when it comes to VPNs. And frankly, I'm surprised my antivirus video has lasted as long as it has. <laughs> all right, y'all. Have a good one, and I'll see you in the next one.